Okay, so we have a UPS here, a 2 kVA UPS, uh, with four lithium iron phosphate batteries installed. Uh, we have a heat gun, which if you can see right there is 1400 watts. And we have our computer, which is currently monitoring the UPS. And we can see that the battery capacity is 100%. Input and output voltage 119.9 for the lithium iron phosphate UPS. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the heat gun to its highest setting. Which is 1400 watts. So we can see here that the input voltage has dropped to 113 volts because it's currently in bypass <coughs> mode, or I'm sorry, the uh, UPS is drawing current, and the UPS output is 119.9, and the battery capacity is currently 100%. Confirm that it is actually plugged in. Now we're going to go ahead and replicate a power failure. So I'm going to go ahead and remove power you can hear the heat gun is still going we can see that power has failed and we can see the input voltage is zero output voltage 119.9 on the lithium iron phosphate UPS We can go ahead and five minutes remaining at 1400 watts. Let's see if I could pull this out of the way. We're still running it. Four minutes remaining. Battery capacity is at 77.1%. We're holding steady. that heat gun is getting really hot. Let's go ahead and cycle through some more stats. We're still at 48 volts. Inverter 11.1 .1 amps is being pulled from the heat gun. 74% of total capacity, 60 hertz. Inverter is putting out 119, 60 hertz. Zero volts input, 40 degrees Celsius on the batteries. Three minutes backup time remaining. We're still at 77.1%. Uh, Heat gun is still going. UPS is still unplugged. Looks like we got three minutes remaining. Screensaver on here. We're at still 77.1%. Battery voltage is still 48 volts. The capacity of these lithium iron phosphate batteries is greater than the uh, equivalent lead acid, so this might be taking some time to drain down.
All right, finally we're getting some good drop. All right, so 75.5 percent. The batteries are currently at. Let's go ahead and check the battery voltage. Still at 48 volt. There we go. Finally, we're cycling down to 47 volts. 48 volts. Seventy five point five per cent. Now, the backup time on this UPS display is going to be inaccurate because it was originally designed, or the software was designed for lead acid batteries, and the lithium iron phosphate batteries, um, like I said, have much uh, higher capacity than the equivalent lead acid batteries. Uh, so, everything else, though, is correct other than the backup time remaining. You'll see here the lithium iron phosphate batteries are staying steady at 75.5%. Oh, here we go. Now we go 73.8. All right, for the sake of uh, this video, we're going to wrap it up here so we don't wait for the batteries to completely discharge or it's going to probably be greater than 10 minutes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and replicate the power return. So we now see input voltage is 112. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat gun and we'll see the voltage drop jump back up. All right, so at 115. There we go. The utility voltage has recovered. And again, these are the lithium iron phosphate batteries in this UPS. And we did a heat gun test uh, to make sure that the UPS works correctly. And that's it.